Hello YouTube, this is Elsa Day 101. I'm all moved into my first house and uh, I just bought a Compudet RZTL 54 Fab. Um, I was mowing my lawn uh, with a regular 42 inch lawn tractor and it still was taking me about five hours so I decided to upgrade. Uh, I have a project in mind that I really want to do and I thought I'd make a video on it. So I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, accessories on a, uh, a lawnmower or zero turn or something like this. Uh, I have a 17 and a half inch LED light bar that I'm going to mount uh, right in front of my counterweight on the front so I think that'll look good. I have a little voltage gauge. Uh, I have a uh, 12 volt outlet. Then I have a uh, switch for the light bar right here. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your manufacturer's website and get your uh, service manual for your tractor. Uh, mine was pretty easy. Uh, look at your electrical diagram. I'm going to use a uh, five pin uh, Bosch style relay for the uh, headlight in the front. So how that's going to work is this will be mounted right here and when you flip the switch it activates the relay. So the relay uh, makes it so that way you don't have a ton of current running right up to your switch where your hand's going to be. You don't want like an electrical fire there. The chances are pretty low because you're not really, I'm running probably Eight, 8 amps to this, but still it's like, it's kind of just standard procedure. Um, and then I'm using the ground wire that goes to the engine, uh, goes to the magne uh, magneto to shut the engine off. So if you get off the seat or the handlebars are, aren't in park when you get off the seat or the PTO is engaged, the engine shuts off. This will shut off the relay so that way my switch uh, won't turn on the LED bar anymore. This is just going to stop the battery from draining. The straighter or alternator in this engine produces about 180 watts, so that can charge your uh, that can charge your battery back up pretty quick after starting it. The light uses I think it's a 90 watt uh, light, so if you leave your light on with the engine turned off, your battery is going to drain pretty quickly, and that could be a bad situation. The one important thing is to make sure you know uh, the wire capacity of the wire you're using. I'm using 16 gauge wire, which should be good for around 20 amps on a. Uh, uh, one more project like this. You can look online for charts. I'll post a link to one or throw one up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So I already unscrewed my uh, side panel right here. So I'm just going to pop this off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off that one. And I'm going to take off this entire center, uh, center part right here so that way I can kind of contain all my wiring. Uh, in the same area that Cub Cadet put it, so that way it looks clean and I don't have a bunch of wires floating all over. Hi, I have a question for a technician or mechanic about a mower I bought the other day. Got it. OK, 
Okay, so now I have my top plate off. The next thing I want to do is uh, I have a little, um, what do you call this? A uh, four gauge, three eighths inch stud ring. So what I'm going to do is solder the wires that I'm going to now power. And I'm going to bolt this and those wires to the end of the starter relay that connects to the battery. So what this does is instead of having a bunch of things connected to my battery, it's still easy to change your battery just by unbolting the bolt and then that one wire comes off. You can see it's a little messy, but it's strong, and it's probably the best connection we'll get. So we'll just take some heat shrink and we'll slide that over there. You can see where I tapped into uh, the uh, safety ground shutoff. So basically, if uh, the engine shuts off for any reason, so does the front headlight. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up this harness right here and uh, tap the wire that uh, it's called the A1, it's A1 off of the start switch so uh, when the start switch is running then uh, this that red wire uh, is hot so I'm going to use that and I'm going to run a fuse off of it and I'm going to use that for my accessories and switch up there. You can also see right here that I uh, just made my ground wires too. I found a lot of, found a way easier uh, way to do this. I should have it the first time. <clears throat> Basically just fill up the connector with solder and the connector will be hot enough where the solder will stay wet for a while heat up the wires and then just <clears throat> dip the wires right into the connector and then uh, wait for it to cool off and then you have a pretty good connection right there I'm still gonna put some heat shrink on it anyways though but yeah Okay, so you can see right there where my new uh, positive wire is coming in and powering my new accessories. I have my uh, relay switch all hooked up and wired. Everything's kind of combined into the existing wire harness. Um, down in here, these black, this black and uh, white wire go into this harness, and then I added conduit, and it goes in the frame rails, and then we'll connect to the front light. Um, these wires will power my accessories up on the uh, little dash right, right there. Then you can see I have a uh, fuse right here and a fuse right here. They're both 15 amp fuses. I also have a uh, added a ground wire right to the engine block. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is going to be uh, cutting these holes.
turn the key on and I guess we'll know uh, what works. Nice, we got 12 and a half volts. And it looks like that switch is working. Okay, so I have my light bar mounted and installed. I had to uh, take the brackets that came with it and cut slits on the side so that way uh, the bolts uh, would line up. Um, I uh, soldered the uh, connector on. You can see there's a little connector right there. It's all waterproof for the uh, light. Um, so yeah, now at this point, I'm basically just going to start reassembling the uh, mower. Okay, so now we got the mower back together. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is going to fire it up and check out that, uh, that light in the front. disengages uh, the magneto or grounds the magneto, that relay gets triggered and my headlight will turn off and stop draining my battery. Once again we have our 12 volt outlet, our voltage gauge to make so that way we know that the uh, alternator or uh, straighter is running and then our switch for our uh, light up front. So that was a fun project. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I would say it's pretty clean. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment and subscribe.